Ben Fitzgerald, welcome to Stockholm. Thank you, love this city. Uh, your ministry have rented the Friends Arena in, here in Stockholm mm -hmm. for three days in October. Yes. Why? We really feel that God has called us to come here to raise up a charge for the family of God all over Scandinavia, that they would be burning Christians and that they would love their own nations. And we sense that God really wants to save this nation. Many people uh, have seen the, the rise of secular humanism and atheism, and we believe that there, there needs to be a rise of Jesus. He needs to be magnified in this nation. And so that's why we've, we've rented it. We've asked God for thousands of souls to be born again in that weekend, brand new people that they'd meet Jesus. You say that uh, God has chosen this place. Yeah. How can you be so sure? Well, I can only be sure by what God spoke to me, and he spoke in a similar way to how he spoke to me about Nuremberg, Germany. When God spoke to us about Nuremberg, he did it. He did exactly what he said he'd do. A similar thing happened when he spoke to us about Scandinavia, and then all of a sudden, supernaturally, we were connected to leaders and pastors here. People have the same heart. We found out that many Christians in Scandinavia actually have the same kind of dream and vision, that they believe Jesus will be magnified in these nations. I also received a text message from a friend of mine who can't speak English, who wrote it in broken English, wrote down, I believe the next place that you guys will go is Scandinavia. And he had no idea we had not talked to anybody. And so since then, we've received many prophetic visions, uh, many uh, confirmations. Even two days ago, a man walked up to me and after a couple of minutes of speaking, he handed me $17,000 and said, I want to give you this towards Stockholm. So many things are following what God is saying. So we follow him. Yeah. Last summer here in Stockholm, yeah. uh, uh, another ministry rented Globen, mm -hmm. uh, also a huge arena, yeah. and a few hundred showed up. Mm -hmm. um, I heard it was a few thousand. Yeah. yeah. Are you nervous that this will happen to you as well? I'd only be nervous if I believed success was filling stadiums. I don't believe that success. I believe success is having the presence of Jesus in a room and seeing people born again. So I want to see people saved. If it gets three quarters of the way filled, praise God. If it gets filled, praise God. What I want to be filled is the altar call. <laughs> that's what I want filled. So that's what I care most about. And I admire anybody who steps out in faith and says, we believe God has called us to do something. And even if they fail, I think God admires boldness more than he does skepticism. Renting Friends Arena is not cheap. No, it's not. <laughs> so who is paying? <laughs> Uh, that's a great question. Um, we obviously had the same thing in, in Nuremberg. We had to trust God for the finances. God has told me and told our team to keep the price so low that anybody can come from all over Scandinavia. So it's going to be 10 euro if they want to come and then they can pay a little more if they want to. But we just trust God for the finances. It all came in uh, for Nuremberg and we believe God's going to do the same thing for the Friends Arena.